Hi friends, it's Carol from Crinkled Path Journals. It's a Friendship Friday. I have a couple of shout outs to give. I ended up purchasing some things from Etsy from a couple of channels that I adore and I love their shops on Etsy as well. So I just wanted to shout out to those YouTube friends. <laughs> and then also I have this scrapbook, homemade it looks like, with this amazing seal possibly from a world's fair that was held on treasure island which is treasure island is halfway between oakland and san francisco on that bay bridge i hope you'll come along today now i did not really look at this I saw enough to know it was worth throwing in my box of things I was purchasing, but it's going to be a surprise for you and I as we flip through this. Now, if you were at the live sale that I do with Angela the Traveling Crafter, two, I had a book cover that was, it was a handmade little scrapbook, but it had a wooden spine and a back and front cover with a hand carved tree in it. This one looks like the same kind of spine, but no covers, no front cover, no back cover either. But it is what's holding this book together. <laughs> that and um, quite a bit of dust. <laughs> so let's see what's inside. Okay, looks like we have a birth announcement and a baby picture and a picture of a little child and this is folded and then is this ribbon just sitting in here it says second pacific if anybody knows what that means or what this kind of ribbon like look how they have frayed the edges to make it look fancy Let's see. Then we have some gifts for baby cards. First gifts. Oh, I wonder if this is gonna be all the way up through the ages. It doesn't seem like it went there. Oh, this was probably there. Cute cards. I'll just tuck that in there for now looks older in this picture and then we go to two years old oh look at the Golden Gate International Exposition Treasure Island 1939 a souvenir from the elephant train sightseeing tour oh that's cute can you see that That's a lovely piece of ephemera. Hey, vacation Bible school certificate. A little Valentine. Oh, that's cute. Oh, here's another souvenir ticket from the Golden Gate International Exposition. We have somebody's 1940 World War art from a seventh grader. We have a letter from 1945. There's all kinds of things tucked in here. I guess it is legible if I give a minute to look at it. I love the paper that it's on. It's like typing paper. All right, we're gonna have to read that more. There's some loose cards in here. Greetings and good wishes for Christmas. Another little happy birthday. This one's a little worse for wear. A US Marine sticker. A 
Valentine's. Some photos. Oh, there's another one of him in his bathrobe, like the loose one on the first page. Come to the Crocker Circus. Public School Week. Fun. Something's missing here. Maybe that's where that other picture goes. Oh, look at this flag. It looks like it was cut out of a newspaper. And then we have our class photo. Oh, how cute. They must have done some kind of a Christmas, not you all, Christmas because there's a Christmas tree. But it's the Mother Goose rhymes. So there's the cat and the fiddle. And there's the cow jumping over the moon and a plate and a spoon. Humpty Dumpty. Cute. And these little seal stickers are so cute too. More cards. Promoted from kindergarten to first grade. And this must have been his teacher. Mother's Day card. Oh. Inviting them to school the mom to school. That's a cute photo. Look at her at her writing desk with her photo of her love there on the desk. 1938. Day at the beach. So 1940 here. They're They've dated them, which is nice. Things don't seem to be quite in order. <laughs> oh, what a cute cutout card. <laughs> over and over and over again. Oh, that is so cute. It, it looks like it's... I mean, it's printed like it wasn't handmade, but the it's just construction paper. Oh, and this is where it goes. This is a little piece of acetate. Oh, that makes more sense. Okay. Because then we actually have a little pattern in there. Oh, who's hiding in this pocket? Oh, we have a little riding puppy with his English riding boots. This is adorable. So my mom had a album or a scrapbook where she had saved the cards from the baby shower when I was going to be born. And I, when I got into junk journaling, I went looking for it. And nobody knows where it went. <laughs> but she kind of had a way of um, moving things along and then often not remembering where she moved them along to, which was unfortunate. Isn't that adorable? A Valentine. There's so many cute cards in here. Got some newspapers. Hmm. Oh, look at the coupon. Huh. Looks like a Chinese New Year magazine. under here that doesn't really go with this page 1943 patriotic valentines oh we've got some postcards pyramid peak horsetail falls oh my goodness this has got to go in my memory keeping so we used to hike to this waterfall when i was a kid echo lake pyramid peak 
Those are cool. This one's going straight into my memory drawer. Is that two pages? No. Some postcards from maybe Mexico. The stamps are all from Pasadena. That's cool. And that's the state capital. Los Angeles. Oh, that one's just from Pasadena. Pasadena, Los Angeles, San Diego, and the state capital in Sacramento. <laughs> he's like in a playpen and he's sticking his hand through to touch the grass. Cute, cute. Oh, look at these cuties. Woo! You hear that glue popping? Saturday, June 5th, 1943. Uh, somebody wrote out his memory that he shared of his last day of school in 1943. Like his mommy wrote it out for him. Oh, and then she saved his artwork. Some newspaper clippings. Peggy Anderson and Lieutenant Mabel Y. Stevens. Oh, look at these. Are those transfer... Uh, what are they called? They're a, they're a transfer decal. Here's a ticket for breakfast at Sardi's at the Sacramento Memorial Auditorium. United Nations. Those are fantastic. We got a couple loose cards here. I think I'm going to just set those back a couple pages. Whoops, maybe not by the newspapers and art. We'll put them there. Oh, and there's more of those stickers. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me think. How can I show these to you better? Let me hold this up. I hope the lighting's okay. It's really shadowy in here in the fall. Mariposa Grove, Santa Cruz Grove, Golden Gate, San Francisco. Ocean Beach, which is on the coast at San Francisco. Mount Shasta. The Japanese Garden in Golden Gate Park. Chinatown. The Greek Theater in Berkeley. Oakland City Hall. Lake Merritt in Oakland. My parents lived near Oakland when my sister and brother were little, and they would walk them around Lake Merritt every Saturday after lunch. Fry's Harbor, Santa Cruz. Sorry, now I'm bumping my light. Fruit in California. Stanford University, Palo Alto. Poppy Fields in California. Sorry. Um, Midway Point, Monterey. Very cool. I, I just, I just love those. Oh, look. There's one of the planes. Still, the decal still on its paper. So you would drop this in water and the decal would, you know, get slippery on the page. And you would slide it off onto what you were going to decal on. We got another birthday card. Looks a little scary. <laughs> oh, there's more planes. Oh my goodness. A re recital typed and mimeographed. An award of merit. An invitation for a birthday party. Another Christmas card with blocking. 
<laughs> oh, cute. It's a sorority committee. Uh, probably a dance or something. Let's see. Yep, an eighth their eighth annual sorority ball. Valentine's at the Elks Temple. Hmm. Oh, and these are all California missions. Oh, can I hold it up? We did that with our both our daughters, but when it was when my younger daughter was going through the California history. I think that's fourth no, that fourth grade is the US I wanna say it was third grade where they did California history and we drove the uh the long road that is now basically highway 101 where or highway one where a lot of the missions are still standing and we visited them and she collected little coins it's another program uh we have a chevron bill it says it was paid uh oh a war ration book certificate Wow. Okay, let's see if there's still more. There's an envelope. Oh, it's a school paper. Wow. Let me read one. I suppose I felt no different from any other freshman or sophomore entering. Oh, okay. Maybe it was his freshman or sophomore year. Entering one of the country's several thousand high schools. But still, that wasn't much consolation to me as I walked into the school grounds in front of my home for the next three years. Oh, so he was a freshman. My knees creaked and groaned to the accompaniment of a wildly beating heart as I cued behind the throng of other prospective slaves to the art of learning. <laughs> From the obscure depths of the cavernous hallways came the ominous groan of my next three years master, the school bell. A pair of stern and ferret orderlies, precisely in synchronization, opened the entrance to the auditorium and spontaneously the crowd poured in with voices subdued to an odd whisper, first through a small foyer whose main purpose was to display honors won by the institution. We passed and filed into the grotesque depths of the auditorium. After a few minutes, a mousy little man of perhaps 55 stepped forward and raised his arm for silence. Obediently, the audience focused complete attention on Mr. Withersby, the principal. The faculty chief was a bit less than average stature and of slight build. His face was long and soberly straight, as was his nose, on which was precariously perched a tiny pair of iron-rimmed glasses whose main purpose was to give his countenance a look of autocratic domination. Yes, Mr. Withersby was to be feared and respected as the ruler of the roost. His small voice tried unsuccessfully to extend a cold quieting to his new and shivering wards. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> That's quite the verbose language for a freshman of high school. I'm impressed. Trying to keep things together here. Uh, let's see if we've got any more surprises here in the back. So far, it's just looking like really amazing, heavy construction paper. Oh, we have a couple things here. A spring formal for the youth club in Carmichael, which is a suburb of Sacramento. And... A little mariachi band guitar player. Oh, it's a uh, Job's daughter's fiesta. 
the neighbor girls across the street, they were older than me, but they were in Job's daughters. Okay, just flipping quickly so I don't miss anything. That might have been it. Look at all this great construction paper. Oh, we got some. Oh, oh my gosh, isn't that cute? <laughs> Pirate and tropical must be from a dance. Uh, let's see what we've got here. Oh, there they are again. Well, maybe it's not. Well, I don't know. Maybe because even in the 80s, the kids who went to the high school in town, I went to a little Christian high school, but the kids who went to high school in town could smoke on campus. But look at they're in their sarongs. And she's posing so demurely. It's cute. Let's see. What's this? Maybe this will give us some. Oh, no. Chronology of the Inca National Movement. <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with the photos. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, it's a picture of the tiki restaurant. Or the tiki decorations at the dance. Fun. I'd love to know more about that. Oh, and then look at this adorable. Lady with her orange tree and her puppy. says, Florence and Mike at home, Three Rivers. Oh, I think the town of Three Rivers is near Sequoia National Park here in California. And I only know that main, well, I mostly know that because my daughter and her husband got engaged at Sequoia National Park. And they love uh, the restaurants in Three Rivers. <laughs> we need to get back there sometime soon. Then I wanted to uh, share with you, Sarah, New England Junk Journals, and I had done a swap, and then not long after the swap, she listed some things in her Etsy store, and I collect little golden books, and she had a couple that I didn't have. She had Noah's Ark, and then she had Where Jesus Lived, and uh, he has a very long face on the cover. But I really like the illustrations inside the book. Aren't those fascinating? Like, look at this line drawing, almost like a hatching to give it its distinction. Like, all on the clouds and the cross hatching to make the shadows on her dress. Let's see, the illustrator is Ronald LaHue, and this was written by Jane Werner Watson. I love the vibrant colors, and this is him worshiping in the temple as a teenager. His baptism. Calling his disciples. Talking to the people. The man who was healed at the pool of bethesda picking grain as they were walking through to eat parable of the vineyard sermon on the mount yeah i just loved the illustrations inside the book and i didn't have that one so Thank you, Sarah, for helping me add that to my library. And then she sent me one of my all-time favorites as an extra, this little golden book of, about God. And then I didn't have this one either, and she sent this as an extra, The Bear in the Boat. So thank you so much for the extras, Sarah. That was certainly not necessary, but very, very appreciated. And I love that you know, you sent me two extras and one of them I didn't have. So that was really fun. And this is absolutely one of my most favorites because I have a few of them and I do like to use them in journals. 
because the illustrations are by Eloise Wilkin and they're absolutely adorable. So Sarah is New England J Journals on Etsy and New England Junk Journals on YouTube. Next, I got two different orders. Well, and that makes me think, because I thought I ordered something else from Sarah. Or maybe she just gave me a discount code. But I thought maybe I ordered two things from her. Anyway, sorry if I'm forgetting that. If I do run across them, I'll make sure they get into another thrifted treasures day. Then I ordered two times from 11 Dancing Dandelions, which is Danielle. And it's the number 11 and then Dancing Dandelions. And her name is the same on Etsy and YouTube. And she's another very creative, vibrant color loving journal maker and I uh, I love her stuff I bought first I did an order for some I thought they were just the books they were from the book and record sets but some of them actually still have records in them which is amazing so I have the night before Christmas this one does not have a record in it but I loved the illustrations in the story I love Christmas, so can't go wrong with that. Then Santa Claus is coming to town. This one does not have the record in it. But again, super cute illustrations. Christmas with the decorating for Christmas with the family. And then I got Bambi. And this one actually has the record. And somebody colored the coloring page in the back. Let's see. So cute. And then we have, these are all from the 80s, by the way. We have Barbie's Christmas Party. This totally reminds me of Barbie's when I was growing up. 1981. And somebody colored a lot in this one. <laughs> but it looks like that was the intention. You know, the pictures weren't colored, so somebody had to do it. Cute. And this one has the record, I believe. Yep, that's the right record. And then I got The Adventures of Super Pac-Man. I loved playing Miss pa Mrs. Miss pa Ms. Pac-Man. I can't remember. Miss Pac-Man. Uh, that was my jam. That and Donkey Kong and Dig Dug. <laughs> my parents would drop my friend and I off with a roll of quarters. Well, probably two dollars worth of quarters. And we could play about eight games. And so then you had to really try hard to play well so that you it would last longer. <laughs> it was our local mini golf place had a uh, arcade. And then the Sunrise Surprise Shirt Tales book and record. I had these guys on a lot of my like folders and binders and I just thought they were the cutest things in junior high. This one is from 1983, which would have been my freshman year of high school. Oh, but they're so cute. They all wore the little sayings with on their shirt. The t-shirts with the sayings. Even the birthday cake is happy. Or Valentine cake. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. So this was quite a treasure. And Danielle has, was selling them as a bundle. Which was amazing. I'm so happy to get these. 
Look at those cuties. And then she gave me a discount code when I bought these. And so, I don't know, maybe about a month later, I went back to see if I could use the discount code and if she'd added any more to her shop. And I got this Wonder Book bundle. And there's Count the Baby Animals. And the illustrations are adorable. This is written by Marguerite Walters and pictures by Virginia Plummer. And who doesn't love a good wonder book? Oh, the bunnies, turkeys with their babies, and the geese with their goslings. They're, it's a counting book. And all the animals on the farm are being counted or around the farm because there's definitely some wild animals. But I have no idea how a kangaroo got in the mix. <laughs> and look at this cute little guy with the squirrel at the end. So fun. So that's one. And then we have Baby Raccoon. And there's a name inference for my daughter with the baby. Um, they collect a lot of raccoon things. This is a 1975 printing. The little raccoons look like they're out camping. <laughs> oh, we're missing a page there. I just love the illustrations. Oh, poor baby raccoon is crying. Oh, they're eating some field wheat. And then we have the little puppy who would not mind his mother. And I had a, uh, the last little puppy book that I think was by the same author illustrator. And so as soon as I saw this, it just looked so familiar. And this is illustrated by Hildegard Hopkins. <laughs> So I guess the puppy is being a little bit naughty. Oh, look at the pup, the pony. And the baby cow. Uh-oh, <laughs> running away. The cat spotted him on the nose. Mama kissed his scratch. <laughs> oh cute she's singing songs and the puppy's crying because he can't sing the birds can sing and he can and the girl can sing but he can't sing a little puppy who went to school cute very adorable book. And then last, I got a copy of Heidi. Illustrations in this are adorable. A favorite classic story. Probably one of the first chapter books I ever owned and read. My dad bought me a, like a children's illustrated version of the chapter book and thought it was amazing then. And so the story has stuck with me over the years. So thank you so much to Danielle at 11 Dancing Dandelions and to Sarah at New England J Journals or New England Junk Journals. These are such great finds and their prices were very reasonable and so it's fun to be able to be selling now because it's allowing me to go ahead and support some of my fellow junk journal makers and creatives who have Etsy stores or who've applied to join the Makers Marketplace, which is still an option. If you haven't heard of that, go to Angela of the Traveling Crafters channel or look in my community tab because I recently started selling their 
I've only listed a couple items. Angela is slowly rolling it out. She has a few items for sale there, but she's still looking for a couple more applicants for people who want to sell in the Maker's Marketplace. And it's a really great deal as far as they don't charge monthly fees to list things. And I will put a link in the description box so you can click on it. You can join in the community chat on there and you can also purchase things or browse or check it out to see if it's something you might be interested in joining. So thank you so much for hanging out with me on this Friday. I hope you have a great weekend and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.